hi everyone today I would like to share uh, this radio is called Sokol it's two band seven transistor super heterodyne radio receiver in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics USSR by the 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 Moscow radio works limited they make this uh, receiver it has a uh, two bands medium wave and long wave and uh, this is in a very good quality radio it's fully transistor and uh, it has a leather uh, covering case also and this is the battery uh, 9 voltage lead acid battery it was in this receiver so with the time the lead inside is uh, dried out but uh, this was the battery and I see first time this kind of battery myself and uh, filled with the lead acid and produce uh, 9 volt actually this was recharging when radio was operated on the uh, electricity of 220 volt so this was recharging itself when you pull it out then radio was working on that battery in the beginning but uh, now I put a normal uh, 9 volt rechargeable battery inside it and uh, yeah I I clean the radio it's uh, uh, was in a good shape also so a little bit contact cleaner here and there and it's absolutely in working condition it's uh, amazing the quality they have made so this is a uh, here is a uh, on off and volume control this is this is the tuning this is uh, for the external antenna and this is the earphone jack and uh, yeah this uh, you can add up uh, 220 voltage this is medium and long wave band switch in the radio so let's turn on and to see Because uh, built in is a ferrite uh, antenna, so you have to move it to find the direction of transmitting antenna. This is BBC Radio 5. In England. But uh, that is, is what is being looked at. It's going on for a while. There are going to be some trials of this as a scheme. So it's certainly not. I will open it up and show you the circuitry inside. It's uh, basically super heterodyne with the push pull uh, audio amplifier. And uh, this is the leather case for this radio. It's in a good shape. Yeah, and there isn't widespread agreement among everybody either. No, there isn't. So Labour is opposed to the introduction. This is a caring case, so uh, this is the technology of nineteen sixties basically. You can uh, read here made in USSR so here I add up 9 volt battery inside normal This is a local Hindustani radio in the Hague. Chelsea game as well and I think the Everton game 
fear, fear the three is, is, is you rightly said, sort of up front at, at the beginning. If you can get through those ones. Opening this radio is very easy. It has a two screw, two screws. You just open it. I will show you later on this video how the components, the Russian components look like. Uh, it has a seven transistors. I opened earlier, all they are PNP. Uh, but uh, you cannot uh, make comparison to the most uh, uh, Japanese transistor because uh, the Russians they were building their own components so they they look a little bit different than normal electronic components which was the West and the Japan was making 1960s and 70s so but in the circuitry I'm sure they are PNP transistors and the capacitors and resistors yeah they look also different, but uh, amazingly, and you've also got I, am, who, uh, I am I am surprised that the electrolytic capacitors are not dried yet. It has a plenty of inside, so radio is just in operational condition. It's quite sensitive. It has a nice sound, warm audio. Of course, medium wave, and long wave has a static noise. Of nowadays, Liverpool. all of course and distance in terms of getting into the top four. Liverpool have won the last two in the league uh, as well, and they look really good at, at Arsenal. This is a long wave. Yeah. Our breath order is so omnipresent, we're kind of blind to it. If I thought, gosh, there's that chap on the radio, um, what's his name, something Rosen, I can't remember his first name, and I go to Wikipedia and I look up Rosen, it will so give me a list of... I will increase the full volume so you can hear how loud it, this small radio is alphabetical order so we still do use this is the full volume i'm thinking about the way the alphabetical order relies on the fact we have really embedded the alphabet in our heads because quite often when you say all right so we go through to something and then we've got to find different things within uh, a list in alphabetical order but we, we actually have to know the alphabet sometimes forwards and backwards, don't we? I've noticed work, when working with children that even if they've got the alphabet sorted one way, it doesn't necessarily mean they've got it the other way, because when you say, oh, well, what came before that, or what will you find earlier in that list, they're much less able to tell. As the papers fall off the shelf and collapse onto the floor. Um, and when you think about it, so here are the transistors it's one two three four five six and seventh ones also and uh, these are the uh, two are the oscillator coils and and uh, three are the if coils for intermediate frequency and uh, it's uh, quite uh, it's a quite a new way to reduce the 220 volt to bring to 9 volt DC uh, they have used the resistors high voltage resistors in the Japanese and also the West they were using uh, step down transformers but what they have done they use the resistors high voltage resistors which are bringing 220 volt when you apply uh, down to 9 and then the bridge rectified converted into the DC voltage you can see this is a push pull circuit for the audio very common circuit and uh, yeah you see the the variable capacitor gain for the tuning it's quite uh, bulky but uh, and the band switch you see how the band switch is let me Spray some contact cleaner. It's 
is open. Medium. And this one is a uh, squile is for the tuning medium wave and this is for the long wave. You can see uh, how it's built on the ferrite, uh, it's, a, it's a ferrite core on the top of the ferrite core for the tuning. So yeah, basically uh, you can see the speaker is saying uh, ninth month of 1966 so this radio is uh, built after 1966 because the speaker was built in the september 1966 so it's uh, almost uh, half century old almost the radio Plastic, which is used for uh, the chassis of the radio, is not very high quality, but uh, the leather carrying case is uh, built very good quality. about her and also interested that I was playing Ripley which she had a yeah a vested interest in me and she thought I think that I was okay in it so we became friends in a, in a small way she, she sort of helped form you then exactly formative influence <laughs> well she was a, as I say when you're 14 or 15 things change you a little bit and the idea also for a 14 or 15 year old that cause and effect and crime and punishment are necessarily connected is very seductive. How odd was she? I read sometimes how odd she was. I didn't find her odd at all. She was shy. She was very shy, actually. I mean, to be honest, she drank quite a lot. She had a fringe, a sort of hank of hair, which would fall down over her eyes. And I would catch her sneaking looks at me and staring at me from under her fringe. And I, there was there was nothing uh, odd as far as I could see about it. That's why standards of oddness are different. I have a photograph of her um, here, looking exactly as you described her. Actually, quite glamorous in a way. Yes. Um, a very masculine hand with a cigarette in it. 
that little shank of hair hanging down, as you say, quite beguiling. Yes, she was. She was seductive. And she was also sort of ruthless. I got a phone call once from this poor, bemused German. Thank you for watching.